Hi there, this is Kingsley. So I've been using the Galaxy S8 Plus as my backup phone for a while now. But it's gotten too old and totally needs a replacement. So I got another backup phone, which is an iPhone. So I have basically transferred my files like pictures, music, videos, messages, and other files to the iPhone. But the problem is moving applications like WhatsApp and their data to the iPhone. So let me show you how I do it. I'm going to be using a software called iCareFone Transfer. The software is available for both Windows and Mac. It's not actually free, so you might want to head on to their website to find out what the pricing is in your area or region. The good thing about the iCareFone app is that anybody can use it because of the simple and straightforward design of the user interface. The software does not only transfer WhatsApp, you can use it to transfer other applications that are like Viber, WeChat, and so on. And for WhatsApp, you have to choose if it's WhatsApp Business or normal WhatsApp. Here are a few things you'll need to do before we proceed with the WhatsApp transfer to the iPhone, else none of this will work. You'll have to enable USB debugging on your Android phone. Where this option is on your Android phone will depend on the type of Android phone you use. You can do a quick Google search on how to enable USB debugging on the type of Android phone you use. But for a Samsung user, you'll have to go to Settings, go to About Phone, here you will see Software Information, tap on Build 7 times. This will enable developer options. Go back and open developer options and enable USB debugging. Then open WhatsApp on your Android phone, go to settings and then chat backup. Tap on Google Drive and select never so that chats will be backed up locally to the internal storage of your phone. Click on chat backup. When that is done, Connect both phones to your PC or Mac via USB cable. Select WhatsApp, then click Backup. You will select your Android phone as the backup device, then click on Backup Now. You will see the instruction telling you that you need to backup your WhatsApp first, which we have already done, so you will say Continue. This will take a while depending on the size of your WhatsApp chat history. Once that is done, as an extra layer of security, you will be asked to put in the phone number that you use to back up the WhatsApp account to verify that you are the owner. Also, make sure that two-factor authentication is turned off on your WhatsApp if it's enabled. And a verification code will be sent to your phone number which you will put here. And that's it. Your backup is ready to be transferred to your iPhone. The next thing is you will have to set up WhatsApp on your iPhone and activate it with a phone number. When that is done, select your iPhone as the restore device. Again, this will take a while depending on the size of your WhatsApp chat history. When it's done, your iPhone will restart. And just like that, you have successfully transferred your chats from your Android phone to your iPhone. So that's how easy it is to use the iCare phone transfer app. I have used a couple of them, but the procedures are so long, sometimes a lot of people find it difficult to use it. But with this one, it's just straightforward that anybody can use it. I'll leave links in the description for those of you who will want to check out these applications. Until the next time, my name is Kingsley. I'll catch you again.